Hey, so here we are again. Um, I'm Julio, this is Jan. We're back for the second day in a row because there's no work at the hall. Nope, gotta keep busy somehow, right? That's right. Yeah. So what are we gonna talk about today? Well, I just wanted to go over some suggestions of how to tackle down uh, problems when uh, trying to bar down chords. I find that um, a lot of people, when they pick up the guitar and they're going over that kind of stuff, um, they struggle a lot with it and it makes them wanna give up too soon when really all you really need to do is uh, have the right approach for it and you know try different um, uh, ways about it okay first of all let me ask you this what is a bar chord let's start with that a bar chord is when you play more than one note using the same finger okay so all could, right that could be two strings three four five six all the way across okay so a bar chord is just basically playing more, like you said more than one string at the same time yeah what would a bar chord look like well, I'm sure you're going to get into that anyway, but yeah, what would it look like? So I find that the one that uh, people hate the most, the most notorious one is um, like the F chord. And um, yeah, I notice a lot of people, you know, struggle with um, trying to apply the right amount of pressure for that. Right, right. So, and it's not just applying the pressure, it's, it's trying to um, evenly distribute it all the way across. Like maybe, maybe you'll get... Uh, to there, then you'll struggle on that. Right. You want to make sure it's all oh, the way so across that's, evenly. Yeah. That has to do with clamping the the strings down evenly on the nut there. Well, a, a, a few things on the that, fretboard. Yeah, a few things that uh, that are going on that I would suggest mm -hmm. is number one is when you're doing something like this, it requires more pressure than say you were up higher in the neck. It, it feels a lot lighter over here. Okay. So. What I recommend is um, if this feels you know, too rough you know, right away, mm -hmm. you could take the same chord shape and try it uh, somewhere like over here. And then, oh, and practice it, and the better you get at it, the, then you start going down or something? Yeah, because it requires less pressure over here, so you could try it. Like oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, another thing that I want to point out is you never want to... Uh, like squeeze, squeeze your hand because you're just um, you're tiring yourself out more and and just putting more more stress on your hand. Okay. So on top of having to deal with um, you know trying to um, you know put this together with the proper pressure, you're you're now you're you're straining your hand. Yeah. So, so okay. Yeah. So it's just it's just causing uh, more of a headache than it has to be. So instead of squeezing your hand, I recommend taking the weight of your arm mm -hmm. and pulling your fingers oh that's straight. a good concept yeah and and as long as the strings sound clear that's all the pressure you need right yeah everybody uh um, you don't need to overdo it no you don't need, need to overdo it no and actually if you overdo it um oh they start going out of tune yeah it changes the the pitch as well so that's what uh -huh. you want to be careful on okay that's a good thought so if i were just starting out if this is too difficult, I would always start. I could go do the same shape, like you said, and go down the neck here. Yeah, start you can, here. You could try right there because there's less pressure. On, right, on your and hand then work my way down. Uh huh. As you build up that that uh, hand strength, and finger strength, and all that. Okay. So if I were just starting out, if this is too difficult, I would always start. I could go do the same shape, like you said, and go down the neck here. Yeah, start you can, here. You could try right there because there's less pressure. On, right, on your and hand then work my way down. Uh huh. As you build up that that uh, hand strength, and finger strength, and all that. Okay. Now there's there's uh so basically this is the bar when you put the string your finger across this, right? Uh-huh. And now there's different bar shapes, correct? Uh-huh. So that one that we were doing right now, it looks like to me like, like it's almost like an E shape, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then all you're doing is moving it down. That's right. And then you put your finger across the top, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so it's like this. So if I do this, that's without the bar. But when I put the bar, that's right. I see. Okay, but but it's basically an E shape that you're moving around on, on this particular one. Yeah, you're moving it over and you're using your index finger for that. Right, right. And barring them. Right. Okay. And from what I see, I've always thought of it. Now, let me know if this is wrong. Like this, I'm not using the bar there because I think the nut represents the bar on my finger, right? Uh huh. 
So the way I thought of it is if I move it down here, I have to make sure then I have to provide the nut with the finger barring it down, right? Yeah, that's there's no nut that. there. Uh -huh. So this, the nut always goes above, above this, right? Uh -huh. So I'm just basically, if I were to bar it, it would be like this. And basically I'm just moving it down, right? right. So it's the same thing as doing this. Of course, when you do an E like this, this way, you don't have the finger to bar it, right? right. So that's why you do it with different fingers. Uh -huh. So you have this finger free. Because uh -huh. this is uh, this is basically your barring finger, right? Your index finger? Uh, for, for that particular shape, yeah. Oh, 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 you can use your other fingers for barring? Yeah, so you can you can do other shapes as well. Maybe something like... Uh, right there, I'm using my, uh, my ring finger. Oh, yeah. But, but your top finger is always this one, though, right? Uh-huh. That's Does that always, that, cause that could that change too? I personally wouldn't. It's, it's a matter of, um, I guess, preference. Okay. It, it and it depends on uh, where you are on the guitar too, because it, it can get, uh, you know, pretty cramped. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. as you go higher, uh, you know, the fret gets smaller. As opposed to over here, the neck, uh, the frets are wide over here. Oh, so that's why it's probably harder to do it up here too, because it's a little wider. Yeah. Yeah. On top of um, trying to, you know, apply uh, enough pressure. The pre so, Yeah. You know, I always, I always felt that it was like. Harder to do here because of the spacing, but I never thought about the pressure. But you're right because the pressure is a lot harder here than it is over here. Uh -huh. So that's see, I learned something new today. <laughs> I never thought of that. I always used I always used to concentrate on the spacing. I go, well, that's why it must be harder, you know. But the pressure has a lot to do with here. Go over here, I don't have to press as hard, right? Because the strings bend easier. Uh huh. Because they're not as close to the nut up mm -hmm. here. That makes sense. See, I just learned something. Uh -huh. I don't even know. You were saying something about, uh, I guess that kind of goes along with that, something about uh, a comfortable way of holding your guitar while approaching those bar chords or? One of the things I wanted to point out is, um, depending on what uh, chord you're doing and what, what position on the guitar you're in, uh, generally I wouldn't want to uh, you know, have my guitar neck all the way back here. Because now on top of, you know, trying to uh, concentrate on, on playing this cleanly. Right. Now I got like, I call this like the, the T-Rex arms is oh, you know, have okay. your elbows all the way back here. They're shortened, you know. Good point. So Good point. Now I'm, I'm really uncomfortable and look at my wrist as well. You know. Yeah. I recommend to <clears throat> generally have your guitar neck over your left knee. Oh, okay. And, and, and um, everything's rotating outwards. It's uh, my arm. My torso. Yeah. Uh, when you're playing, you don't you don't have to be perfectly straight like that. You know that's okay. That doesn't really matter. What matters is uh, are you comfortable and are you accomplishing what you're trying to do? You know. Right. Right. So I have it right here, and now you see how my my wrist is bending. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm, I'm putting more pressure. I'm putting pressure on my wrist now. On top of this, you know. I see. Oh right yeah, here, that's true. More relaxed. Yeah. And also you want to see what's going on. Um, I notice a lot of people, they're, um, they're holding their guitar like that, maybe something a little, that's a little exaggerated, but I see it sometimes, you know. Yeah. You want to have the guitar slightly angled uh, upwards like that. Okay. So now you have a better view of uh, what's going on. Okay. 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 And uh, one more suggestion too is, um, you know, experiment with the different uh, heights, but you definitely don't want to do, you don't want to have your your guitar neck and head all the way down here. And now again, look at my wrist and my arm. The lower I go, more pressure. This is, this is actually hurting after a while, you know? Right. I recommend either having it uh, somewhere in this area or uh, depending on, again, everybody has a different shape and size to them. Right. As well as the guitar. So maybe a little bit higher towards the uh, shoulder area. Okay. Yeah, I noticed a lot of, uh, more like a lot of jazz players have it like that, up higher. Uh-huh. A lot of the rock players, I know, like, you know, is it, is it, who is it? Jimmy Page has a way down here. Um, like a bunch of people have it, and that's like harder on the wrist, right? But also that has to do with the style of music too, I guess. Uh, it's a few things going on. One For one thing, uh, a guy like Jimmy Page, he's, wasn't he kind of like, you know, lanky? He, like, linky, yeah. linky, that's the word, linky. Yeah, so, Not necessarily tall, but linky, yeah. Okay, so he was lanky, so he had longer limbs. So Right, that's he, what it is. He yeah. can get away with stuff like that where, having, where he has a strap lower and the guitar lower. Right. He can get away with that, and that's comfortable to him. That's, I see, okay. That's another thing that I tell people is that, um, 
you know, nothing has to be set in stone. You have to find what works for you. Okay. And that's why you want to experiment with different um, ideas and, and angles and all that. So I just tell people, if you can get away with it and it doesn't feel like you're hurting yourself, then you know, go ahead, you know. Then you pointed out a lot of stuff that I didn't know about, uh, about holding the guitar and the bar chords thing. And then I didn't think about like how some people could wear the guitar lower and some people can't. Mm -hmm. I guess if you do have long arms and long, you can get away with that. Well, I don't, so I, I know it's really uncomfortable for me because I'm like this, but if I had longer arms, then I guess it wouldn't be as uncomfortable. Yeah, when I, when I say getting away with it, I mean, uh, it's not just the comfort, it's also are you playing or you're trying to play cleanly. Oh, I see, yeah. So that's what I mean by that. Let's, uh, let's review real quickly, uh, highlight to the pointers that you uh, pointed out. Number one, you said when you're uh, starting to do bar chords, uh, start towards the middle of the neck because it's easier to, to press down on the strings. Mm -hmm. If you're not comfortable doing it like up here. Yeah, less pressure required on the hand. Okay. Uh, what was another thing that you talked about? So yeah, you could try, you know, different uh, areas of the neck when you're trying uh, uh, the bar chord shapes. Yeah. Um, paying attention to the angle of the guitar, how you're holding it. There you go. Okay. Um, the distance as well. Mm -hmm. I would say generally you try to have it over your left knee. That way you're nice and comfortable. You don't have these these T-Rex arms. The T-Rex arms. Called, That's you know. a good explanation for it. And um, also the height. Right. I say generally, you know, try to have it uh, more towards your, uh, your shoulder height. Right. So. Well, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good pointers. All right. Well, this is Julio and this is Jan again for the second time. Hopefully this stuff will kind of help you out on uh, on your guitar playing and uh, like that. Right. Uh -huh. All right. So let's jam out. Mm -hmm.